Our oceans cover more than 70% of the world, yet only an estimated 5% of that has been explored. Coastal waters are home to hundreds of thousands of marine species, yet without enough information on their health, we could see their populations dwindle and die out. Our coastlines are also not impenetrable to our pollution and mishaps. Like a great barrier, they protect us from the sea level, but they are slowly weakening against a rising tide. On the coast of the Scripps Institution of Oceanography, there is only one near shore buoy providing data for miles of shores. This is an issue because it creates an assumption that in the area that the buoy covers, all the oceanic parameters are the same. Imagine, if in addition to this nearshore buoy, each of these surfers below could become virtual buoys, recording important information about ocean health. This is what SmartFin hopes to bring to the table. We hope to gather thousands of new data points in understudied locations to help keep tabs on coastal health. As you can see below, in La Jolla Shores, we have already collected hundreds of data points by simply using the fin. The smart fin has a range of sensors, including GPS, thermometer, and an IMU, or inertial measurement unit. These sensors allow the fin to determine its location and measure sea surface temperature in the surf zone. In the past, project teams used the IMU data to calculate peak direction and period of the waves and began the difficult task of calculating wave height. This summer, we focused on improving this calculation by reducing noise in the data before it runs through the double integral analysis, a process that integrates acceleration into velocity and then once again into position. Over the course of the summer, we found that the most effective methods for filtering our data were to downsample it and remove abnormal peaks that are caused by events such as the surfer falling off of their board or riding into a wave. Downsampling made data processing faster and showed that it would be useful for the new generation of SmartFin to record at one hertz. Removing the peaks helped determine useful data from non-useful data. Ultimately, by using these methods, we reduced the average difference in wave height measurements between the nearest buoy and the SmartFin from about 14 inches to just five inches. We also developed a method for validating SmartFin data using a camera system to track a kayak fitted with the SmartFin. For this experiment, we labeled footage from an offshore camera to measure the wave height and compared these values to the wave height the SmartFin recorded. Having this direct comparison will be crucial to understanding how accurate the SmartFin is in a real-world situation, as the buoy is not in the same location as the fin and is therefore not the best comparison. After the launch of the first generation of SmartFin in 2017, we have collected thousands of data points across the world from hundreds of surfers. This project uses extraordinary individuals, known as surfers, to not only conduct critical research about the changing ocean, but also tells a story through science. SmartFin combines the immense grassroots power of the people with the unstoppable force of the scientific process, taking a step in the right direction towards healing our planet. This project would not be possible without a few key individuals. First, we would like to acknowledge the students who work tirelessly on this project. In addition, we would like to thank the E4E REU program for this opportunity, as well as our trusted advisors. We would also like to thank the UCSD Undergraduate Research Scholarships Program and Philip and Elizabeth Heiston. Lastly, we would like to thank our collaborator, Phil Bresnahan, and the entire SmartFin team for their work engineering the SmartFin and assistance with our project during this summer program. <laughs>